Look at that. They all follow this direction. Jesus. Every Jesus. one of them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another smoking session. I am, as always, Crazy Rocky here with Jason Nova. Today we will be watching Slipknot Spit It Out live at request of Jason over here. Uh, we just watched uh, Slipknot Snuff, so if you do want to go see that, go ahead and go give it a watch. We did that reaction. Uh, should be up on the channel at this point. And yeah, let's just hop right on in here. We have one more song for you. Tonight, would you like one more song? <sighs> this one's definitely heavier. Yeah, I need to know. I need to know. Are you ready to go down in history with us? One more fucking song. And the time has come to make the fucking mess. It's time for all of us to spit this Oh, this is the sample that X works with. Baby, it's time for the tips that are killing you. It's time for the bombing of the bombs. 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 Ah, holy shit, that's the biggest mosh pit I've ever seen. This shit do well. Fuck me. That many people are mosh pit. Yeah, that shit is fucking crazy. Oh, that's the fucking Oh, that's the I know a lot of you know what to do. 
you don't know what's probably, but it's just like, in case. Yeah. Okay, so real quickly, I have it like Aziz said. You hear the heard the legends. I don't know about Slipknot. I know there's other bands that like they spray blood on people and like all sorts of shit like that. So I don't know what's coming at all, but I'm expecting something crazy. So I'm hoping it's fire. Fucking record right here at fucking download tonight. They do it too. Oh, I need like to see gosh, fire. all of my people get down on the fucking ground. Right. Look at that, they all follow this direction. Holy Jesus. Every shit. one of them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you seeing that shit? Jesus, they all did it, yeah. It's official! This is officially the most people that have ever gotten down in fucking England history! What are you gonna do? What the fuck are you gonna fucking do? <laughs> I feel like definitely fucking do this. Oh yeah. But not yet. Not yet. Not until I say, jump the fuck up. Not until I say, jump the fuck up. Is that clear, you crazy motherfuckers? Signal, unleash hell, Joey. Let's take these motherfuckers home, man. That's how I set this for a streak. A lot of people know it, but I'm just looking at me. I'm racing my picture line on their fears. Where you gonna be in the next ten years? Crew and all the fools, all the ball games, giving up a little bit of gas, giving up a sip. You got sick when it's been out the gun. Man, I'm racing me, jump the fucking. Jesus. That is fine, it's fine. Dude, look at the drum set. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Jesus. That's crazy, but... No, that shit was fire. Yeah, no, like, uh, real quickly, just to, but you mentioned, like, oh, I'm sure X did that. Like, the thing that that's interesting is the people that can really command a stage, they mm. all have this very similar, like, stage voice and stage presence of just, like, they own the shit. There was one, um, what's it, Rolling Loud? You know that festival they do? So there was one Rolling Loud where, like, X is up on stage. He was like, no, nah, I want to see from this side of the stage, like, this side of the crowd, all the way to that side of the crowd, like, doing this, that, the other thing. And they just listen to that motherfucker. And they'd, they'd be screaming like, well, he'd be like, no, nah, that ain't enough. That ain't enough. If you want me to bring Ski Mask up here, you don't have to scream louder than that. You just... <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, it's so... It is crazy and dope when people have that fucking stage presence like that, mm -hmm. that you can just fucking own a crowd. Like, they do anything you say. And so that was crazy as fuck to where, like, 
everybody that <laughs> got down on their fucking leg. Like, they were like, yeah, no, we're going to be part of this shit. But also, it's a cool thing because, like, yeah, it's like the people are being like, no, I want to be part of this. Like, I want to be in the show, essentially. So, like, fuck it. Let me, like, do what they say and that yeah. type of shit. The set was fire as fuck. Um, like I had to, I think, uh, like I mentioned, like, X had sampled that with Ski Mask, and actually one of their most popular songs uses that sample. And so I knew that it was sampled from Slipknot. I didn't know what song, but it was... It is just really cool to, like, I've seen them perform that song on stage and one IX and whatnot and them, so, like, they're where it samples it, so it was cool to see, like, the original band where the sample came from do it. The stage presence was crazy. The music was, was, I, I didn't, the vocals didn't do it for me, I'm gonna be honest, but the actual, like, song itself, like, the, the, the drums, the guitar, everything was on point, like, completely fucking fire. Again, the, 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 the performers were on were perfect like this the crowd was perfect like that's just one of those moments that's like everything the stars just perfectly aligned <laughs> and everybody just did what they were supposed to everybody was on their game like the light people were on their game the band was on their game the crowd was on their game the security was even on their game up at the front of the thing like I, yeah no there's no way that that concert could have gone better like that was that was fucking perfect like when i think of like what i wish i could do on stage like in the future if i get on stage again and when i get on stage again like that's the type of shit that like yeah like you gotta really just like intervene with the crowd and make sure they're part of it all that type of shit and especially with that many people like that was a fucking ton of people and it's still just fucking murdered it. like yeah that well, was great in fact, like most of those people i'm sure that like they're fans, so they know what's gonna happen. Cause he yeah. does that, like they do that at the end to close out the uh-huh. uh, show. So they're probably like, but the way he just builds the anticipation, like you yeah, know that it's tension's coming, building it's like, in the background. Yeah, a job, a yeah, like not it happen. It's it's like when the ba- it's see. This is why I I can understand like DJs and stuff when it comes to EDM. It's not my thing. But like the whole one of the things I told you, my roommate he was a DJ and is a DJ still, I believe. But but one of the things is like you know as a dj you sit there and you build tension and you like keep waiting for the beat to drop until the beat finally drops and it's like that same sort of thing like the beat finally drops and like you can finally go crazy with it and get into it and whatnot like when i was younger i kind of didn't like if i when i was younger and i mean even just like four years ago when i was like 16 i didn't necessarily understand concerts because i was like well if you go with your friends like that's one thing like you can go chill with your friends and whatnot but when i see things like this that's when I'm like, oh no, there's a difference between just going to a concert and going to a performance. Yeah. Like, there are people, because there are plenty of people out there, even at like Rolling Loud and whatnot, like, sure, they may be like, oh yeah, make some noise, this, that. but they just get up there and they do their thing and they get off. Like, this is a whole other level of like, no, no, you're giving them like a full show and an interactive show. Like, if, even if you go to Broadway and see a full show, like, you can't interact with it. Like, this shit, they're bringing you into the hype, they're bringing you into the mosh. That's one thing that I always have appreciated about mosh pits. Like, I don't want to get into a mosh pit, to be honest. Like, I'm just not the type of person to run into people. And also, I'm a bigger dude, so you know what I mean? Like, but, like, I understand it, because it's like you're part of the concert, you're part of the hype, you're part of everything. So, yeah, no, this was just definitely a fucking very solid clip, and it, it made me definitely... Um, excited to listen to more Slipknot, you know, going forward and seeing more music videos because both that performance and their music video that you just showed me, I, yeah, one hundred percent definitely did enjoy. Even like I said, if I can't like the last song, I enjoyed. Uh, honestly, this song I like more. It's just I don't know where they supposed to be rappy type vocals or what. Yeah, were they? it's okay. To be fu- like if you see, it, it's very muffled to hear. Like, but yes. when you listen to it, like, yeah, it. It's a great track. I love it. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's just because, you know, obviously it was a bit muffled and I couldn't understand the vocals that it's not, you know, I didn't, wasn't as into it. But because, you know, you know, I, you know, I well, like the rock. The rap, rap, show, rap, rock getting feature. out of breath. He's out, like, starting to drink. Well, that, of course. Yeah. Well, live is always, yeah, live is always going to sound. They give their all every fucking show. It was never a disappointing Dude, I couldn't show. imagine being that drummer in the thing when it turns upside down. Like, Tommy Lee's the one that started that with Motley Crew. Oh, really? Yeah. Like where it would turn sideways? Yes. Really? You actually see it in the dirt. Like oh, he's I didn't coming know that. up with the concept. Dude, I want a fucking drum set that turns. I want to be in like a fucking yeah. Like it's he came up with the ideas to do this. Oh, okay. And then a lot of like Slipknot kind of like saw Molly Crew was Slipknot's like uh, turned up by a thousand. Like mm-hmm. but Molly Crew 
was still like do was making get people hyped. Type thing. Yeah, was all the their song is all their songs are like really get you revved up. Well, no, that's why I think I've told you like like that's why I do make a couple hard songs here and there because it's the hard songs that really get the crowd like hyped and into it and whatnot. So, but no, I I didn't know that it had been going along for that long because I like I know I know about the the typical turning of the the drums drummer and I I never knew who started it but I always figured like well in showcases if you're showing off a trophy you know you turn it around so it kind of makes sense that you might have that same thing for a, a drummer but th- that was the first time that I had seen it where it turned sideways and everything so that was that was dope as fuck no I definitely it would make me want to go to like uh, it makes me want to attend a concert more. Like, you've never been to a concert. I've been to concerts before. The concerts that I've been to, well, the, I've only been to a couple concerts, one with my parents and then the one with Mahogany. And again, I went for my parents or for Mahogany. Like, I haven't been to one where it's like, I really want to see this artist and I really like this artist. Otherwise, I feel like I'd be a lot more into it. But we should, no, this is makes me want to go to a concert. So we should definitely hit up a concert once, yeah. once tours start coming back open and shit. <laughs> But yeah, this was a great fucking clip. This is tantamount to like that Joey Badass clip that that remember that I sent you a while ago, where he freestyles over the crowd's chant. Like, mm-hmm. is the similar thing. Like you you bring people in. Everybody's there. The the lighting is on point. The the rapper or the band is on point. The audience is on point. Just works out perfectly. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you all for tagging along during this smoking session. If there's anything else that you want to discuss, anything else that you want us to react to, definitely leave it down in the comments below, and we'll go ahead and react to or discuss whatever it is uh, also you can subscribe for more content like this in the future we also have other music reactions as well as comedian reactions and uh, all sorts of stuff also you can follow us on twitch.tv slash c-r-a-z-y-r-0-c-k-y that's twitch.tv slash crazy rocky we do live album listen alongs live movie watch alongs and just chat with you guys and whatnot so you can follow us over there for that also during the outro our instagram and uh, and uh, twitter will pop up so you can follow us there as well and uh, yeah is there anything else before we hop off here? Uh, no, there's other Slipknot clips I'll probably... I, well, Stone Sour, like I said, I'm, I'm surprised you never heard Bother, but... Yeah, no, it's one of to me that... And it's weird, because everything you show me, you have heard, but I have not heard that one. Yeah. yeah. No, we'll definitely react to more Slipknot in, uh, going forward, and I'll try to think of... Because we did it the other night, but I'll try to think of more, like, rappers and whatnot that we can go back to some of their more beginning clips or, like, older songs of theirs, and we can listen to that as well. Um, But yeah, so thank you again for tagging along during this smoking session, and we will see you all in the next one.